So you've recently seen us cover a lot of engine swaps on the channel. That Brio over there is a great example of that. But this thing is just a notch above. It's even crazier. So if I just open up the hood, ta-da! As you can see, there is no engine because this is the fuel cell of a Suzuki Swift, and the engine, well, that's in the back. That's where the party is going on. So let me just show you what it has. So if you remove these hood clips and lift up the rear hatch, well, this over here is a G13B engine from a Suzuki Swift, but it's been put over here in the back, and this car is rear wheel drive. So this is a mid-engine rear wheel drive Suzuki Swift built by Sportec. So let me just quickly talk about how this thing looks because at first glance, yeah, it probably looks pretty normal. But once you start looking at the little details here and there, you instantly understand that this thing is just something crazy. Because if you look through the front window, you can only see two seats, and then you have this massive plate at the back, which like basically differentiates the front half and the rear half. Because I'm pretty sure the engine must be getting super hot, so all of that heat must be transferring to the front. Thus, there is like a a uh, barrier in the middle and if you come to the back over here the rear door has been completely sealed shut so you can't open it at all anymore and you have these air ducts over here for even better cooling for the engine of course the car is completely uh, slammed to the floor because you know that's what you have to do to get the best amount of handling and i love the fact that uh, it's finished in this taxi yellow kind of paint uh, and white wheels because that looks super cool and you have these uh ducts over here on the top as well which improve the uh breathing for the engine even more and if you start going all around the car you'll see small little race car details like for example over here at the front you have these quick release uh pins over here so that, you know you can just remove the latch and drop the bumper so same is with the back and over here at the back yeah this thing is made out of completely fiber like the hatch is made out of fiber it has sport tech Uh, embedded inside even the window is not made out of glass it's made out of plexi material so this thing is all about weight shedding and just being a race car so now let's come to the back what everyone wants to know about is what the hell has potec done to this car well it's kind of a weird thing because this is not as straight forward as it seems so basically what they've done is they've bought one and a half Suzuki Swifts for this build. So they were for bought this car which is a complete car and they bought the front end of a Swift which has been crashed from the back I guess. They basically chopped off the area that they needed which is the engine, the subframe around that and everything like that. They cut the rear half of this particular Swift and basically lodged in the front half of the other Swift that they bought and that's basically how they made this into a rear wheel drive mid engine Suzuki Swift and the most difficult part about that is actually aligning the car properly by doing the proper measurements and calculations because even like a millimeter here and there might be off and and the car will basically not run straight it will go teda meda or whatever you want to call it and yeah this is a very interesting and a very amazing engineering feat that these guys have done over here so now let's get to the engine itself so it has a custom header custom exhaust uh, of course it has a big ass uh, air intake over here you have dual radiator fans over here for improved cooling um and i'm not sure the ho horsepower figures of this car even they are not sure about the horsepower figures because this thing is really not about that uh stock this thing used to produce around 87 bhp and 113 newton meters of torque and now probably it's probably touching 100 hp and maybe 130 nm of torque should be somewhere around that ballpark uh, so these guys actually wanted to make this into kind of like a budget drift build of course the budget has been blown up because of this thing of these things that they've done uh, they're basically pioneers in doing something like this uh, so yeah probably it's taken some extra money to get this thing done but uh they've of course locked the differential so you know it will slide the way you want it to and it has shorter uh, gear ratios you know so for quick acceleration and staying in the power band so very interesting let's hop into the inside and see how the interior is so hopping into the interior is a little bit easier 
than the rally polo we covered in this Delhi trip because the roll cage isn't that intrusive. But yeah, if you guys haven't already noticed, it has a FIA spec roll cage inside. And yeah, this thing is pretty mad on the inside as well. Everything has been stripped out. We have no headliner. Uh, yeah, the carpets are changed. Uh, of course, the seats, you know, this is a... Uh, Sparco racing seat which you know holds you into place while you're doing your tomfoolery you have a couple of really cool looking switches over here but still somehow it has the uh, audio system that came with it I'm pretty sure and you have a hydraulic handbrake as well uh, and yeah if you haven't noticed a massive plate over here for the barrier between the driver and the engine and yeah I'm pretty sure this thing must be getting super super hot because the AC also has been deleted you get a racing harness also from Sabelt and apart from that yeah it's a pretty normal looking interior in that sense so I don't think we should waste any time start up the car and see if we can drive it around a little bit and not pulled and when you go around the corner slowly you can feel that the diff is working its part and you can feel the wheels and all everything like making noises and everything so yeah it feels rear wheel drive now but it's still kind of technically front wheel drive because the front end is from <coughs> a different swift and is it fast not really it's still pretty much like a stock engine, like they haven't done any turbocharging or anything of that sort. So it's not really powerful as such. But yeah, if you could hear that, that is basically the wheels hopping or whatever. Ah, oh, and I've stalled. Kuch hai kya? Kuch hai kya? Pata nahi. Nahi nahi aa raha. So this thing is still a work So this thing is still a work in progress So a lot of the stuff is still being worked on uh, You of course this thing is made for drifting The drifting scene over here in North India is on the come up So everyone is trying their hands and trying to make something really cool for drifting And I have to say this is one of the most quirkiest and I mean it's just com like it's comical how funny this thing is I mean it's a swift that is rear wheel drive how funny is that but it still can do donuts and all of that stuff and I'm pretty sure with more power or maybe a more skilled driver it can hold pretty good drifts now unfortunately I'm not a drifter and yeah this road isn't really made for drifting so I'm not going to be doing all of that but I can see how much fun this thing is and it's just so loud, oh my god! Woo. It gets this big ass gear shifter over here which is absolutely massive but definitely needed Ruckus over here around these local areas. Woo! Now instantly the steering feels a little bit more communicative and direct because there's no power going through it, so it immediately feels a lot more free, a lot more direct. Woo. 
Yeah, you definitely need a lot of practice, which I, of course, don't have. But yeah, this thing is something really special. Hats off to Sport Tech for doing such a project. I mean, this is people. This is stuff that people want to see. And yeah, finally, a rear wheel drive Swift. Amazing. So do give them a follow on their Instagram because yeah, they take on some really amazing projects, stuff that you really don't see in India. So do give them a follow. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.